A lot of our examples with recursion have focused on using it on trees. Once we start sorting, what we're going to see is that we can also apply the same principle to an array. When we looked at a tree, one of the things that sort of led us to recursive solutions is this idea that if I took a tree, right, and I tore it in two parts, both those parts are still trees. And with arrays, it's very similar. So if I imagine a large array with size 8, each contiguous subarray of the array is itself also an array. So I can think about the first half of the array and the second half. And those are both arrays. The first half has four items, the second half has four items. I can break those arrays down even further into smaller subarrays. So that first array of size four actually has two parts, one array of size two and one array of size two. And I can break these up into different size pieces, but you'll see once we start analyzing merge sort, it's actually really helpful if I break them up into even size pieces at every step. So I started off with one big array of size eight, then I considered the front half of that, which was an array of size four. Now I'm looking at the front subarray of that array, which is an array of size two, and I can repeat this until I get all the way down to an array with a single element. Um, and that's kind of the smallest array, right? And so I can build up arrays from single elements, but I can also take any array and break it, you know, essentially I break it in half. This is almost like that phone book famous phone book search, right? I take the phone book and I split it in half. I take the array and I split it in half. And then I have a smaller array. I take that array and split it in half. And I have a smaller array. And I keep doing this until eventually I have an array of size two. And I break that in half and I have two arrays of size one. And now I've got the smallest possible component. It's almost like if I take a tree and continue to divide into right subtree and left subtree, eventually I get down to a leaf node, right? That I can't subdivide any further because it has no children. So just like that, with arrays, I get down to a node uh, or, or part of the array that only has one item in it, which is the smallest array. Um, and so when we think about recursion on arrays, we need the same thing that we've done with trees and other uh, data structures that we've used recursion on. So how do we make the problem smaller? With the tree, we looked at the left and the right subtree, right? With an array, what we can do is we can split the array into two smaller arrays, or split the list, right? Lists and arrays work uh, similarly here. So rather than trying to solve the whole problem, like with sorting, rather than trying to sort the entire array, I'll just sort the first half and the second half separately. And I'll keep doing that um, until I get uh, down to the smallest subproblem. So what's the smallest subproblem? An array with a single element. That's the point where I kind of have to solve the puzzle. I can't keep going. I can't make the problem any smaller, right? And the cool thing with sorting, of course, is that an array with one element is sorted. Um, and so now maybe you're seeing how this connects with merge, right? It's like, okay, I have a way of taking the big problem and breaking it down into smaller pieces. Once I get to the single element array, that array is itself sorted. And I also have a technique for combining sorted arrays into bigger sorted arrays. And it's like, I have all the pieces I need here kind of starting to assemble. Um, and so what we're going to do to implement merge sort recursively um, is we're going to treat as our base case uh, an array with a single value. That's sorted, okay? So that's a starting point. The, the question with merge was, where do I get the sorted arrays from? But if I take the array and I break it down to smaller and smaller pieces, eventually I produce sorted arrays because I get down to arrays of size one and those are sorted. Um, what's my recursive step? So how do I make the problem smaller? I split, if I have an array that's larger than size one, I split it into smaller pieces. And I do that until I get to arrays of size one. How do I combine the results? Aha, here's where I get to use merge. So the idea here is that any step in my merge sort algorithm, what I want is two sorted arrays that I'm going to combine into a bigger sorted array, right? So I start at the top, I take the array part, apart into small pieces, and then I reassemble it. And as I'm reassembling it, every array that I'm creating is itself sorted. I take two arrays of size one, which are themselves sorted by default, I combine them into an array of size two, which is sorted. Then I take two sorted arrays of size two and I merge them into a sorted array of size four. I take that and merge it with another sorted array of size four into a sorted array of size eight, and on we go. And this allows me to break the problem down into small pieces, and then as I'm reassembling it, I'm always producing larger and larger sorted arrays until my array contains all the elements that I started with and I've solved the problem. And we'll see how to do that both in code, and we'll also look at some visual explanations of why it works.